Hello Divine Feminine and welcome to your weekly reading. So Divine Feminine, the messages that I put forth, they are timeless. Whenever you click on the video, that's when the messages could apply to your life the most. It's also general, so not every message will resonate. Just take what does, leave the rest. I'm going to go ahead and tap in to see what Spirit wants you to know. Spirit, give me some energy for the Divine Feminine. What would you like for the Divine Feminine to know at this time? What's the message? What would you like for the Divine Feminine to know at this time? What is the energy spirit? Okay. I have Wizard of Awareness. The number three could be significant. And then we have Ghostlands in the reverse. Okay. Some of you could be coming out of the cold. Some of you could be coming out of... um. A very difficult period where it seemed like nothing was moving, nothing was going the way you desired it to, like your life was at a standstill. I feel like with this wizard of awareness is giving me Virgo energy. So for some of you, you could have Virgo highly aspected, but you are becoming or have become aware of your circumstances and why things um, were held up, why things were not moving in the direction that you wanted it to or not going anywhere at all the number eight the number 17 the number seven one um 71 could all be relevant as well spirit give me an energy for wizard of awareness why is wizard of awareness here for the divine feminine what's the message why is wizard of awareness here for the divine feminine what's the energy spirit why is this here the four of swords i feel like for some of you you found peace or you will find peace once you become aware of a situation or how to get out of a situation once something um makes sense to you give me an energy for i'm hearing proclamation Give me an energy for Wizard of Awareness. Why is Wizard of Awareness here for the Divine Feminine? The Six of Pentacles. For some of you, you could be thinking about um, an investment. What to invest in. I'm hearing properly. I feel like you want to do something the right way. Or who to give to. Or this is somebody thinking about this concerning you. This could be happening to somebody that's energetically tied to you. I have the Queen of Wands. Eight of Cups in the reverse and the Ten of Cups. So somebody's thinking about going back to a situation, Divine Feminine. For some of you, this could be somebody that you had a family dynamic with. Somebody could want to reconcile. Now, for some of you, I see this as somebody walking away from their ten, walking away from a family dynamic in order to go off and entertain another energy, a third party. Give me an energy for the Queen of Wands. I feel like this person has a choice between two. Somebody could have their wish fulfillment or could deal with this um, Queen of Wands energy. But I feel like something's just a good time. The devil at the bottom of the deck. Um, whoever this Queen of Wands is could cater more to this person's shadow or cater more to your shadow. Give me an energy for the Queen of Wands. Why is the Queen of Wands here for the Divine Feminine? What's the message? Why is the Queen of Wands here? The Emperor. Yes, yeah, like somebody wants to boss up here. Aries energy. Somebody could also be choosing to stay where they are. Yep, the Hierophant. Somebody wants to commit to this Queen of Wands. Taurus energy on the Hierophant. So they're either going back or they're choosing to remain in a partnership. Somebody wants to solidify a relationship the hangman this person has been thinking about this for quite some time pisces energy there's about to be um some very significant changes somebody's making like a life-changing decision here with all of this major arcana why is the eight of cups here or they did why is the Eight of Cups here for the Divine Feminine? What's the energy? The Moon, Cancer, Pisces energy. Tell me more about the Eight of Cups. I feel like somebody um, wasn't aware. Somebody couldn't see something. It's like 
there was a lot hidden from this person or hidden from you. Give me an energy for the Eight of Cups, the Two of Cups. So this definitely deals with a divine union. I'm getting, um, give my cup back. Somebody gave back their cup. I'm just looking at how he's reaching out his hand. It's almost like somebody took their offer back. Somebody was going to commit to you and then they reneged on it. They took it back. For some of you, they took it back to go deal with somebody else. Give me an energy for the two of cups. Why is the two of cups here for the divine feminine? What's the energy? The Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like this was somebody um, you were either married to and a higher level of commitment with. Um, and they no longer wanted to be in the relationship. They no longer wanted to be in the marriage or hearing in the home. Or this is somebody that was supposed to boss up for you, was supposed to give you a commitment, was supposed to make you their wife, their spouse. Give me an energy for the Ten of Cups. Why is the Ten of Cups here for the Divine Feminine? What's the energy? The Lovers. Yeah, this is a spiritual union, Gemini energy. This is a spiritual union. This is what somebody's been praying for. Four of Swords. Give me an energy for the Ten of Cups. Why is the Ten of Cups here for the Divine Feminine? But they blocked it out. Seven of Wands. Somebody blocked out a spiritual union. Somebody didn't feel like you were the one. There was some doubt here. When it came to this person or when it came to you, Divine Feminine. But this person was meant to have justice with you. Something was going to bring a lot of balance into this masculine or feminine's life or your life. Give me an energy for the Seven of Wands. Why is the Seven of Wands here for the Divine Feminine? The Six of Wands. Something I have to do with reputation. Somebody was too concerned with their reputation. Somebody was too concerned with what other people thought. I feel like, too, for some of you, this is not going to resonate for everyone, but there were people like on your side or at least one person in particular that tried to talk this masculine or feminine energy into giving to you. But it's like this person didn't want to hear it. Somebody didn't want to take advice. I'm also getting like somebody didn't want to be seen with you. For some of you, this is somebody who could have felt like um, you weren't good enough. Or you weren't like, um, I'm hearing traditional. You were not their usual type. That's a very specific message. Something that also has to do with culture as well. Because I'm looking at this wreath. Something that could happen on Valentine's Day. Something that could also be significant about Christmas. I'm hearing New Year's, Thanksgiving, you know, the holiday season. Give me an energy for the Six of Pentacles. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Now, give me one more for the Seven of Wands. The Queen of Swords. Yeah, this person was told which direction to go in. And, like, they just didn't want to hear it. They blocked it out. Somebody blocked out. Thank you, Spirit. Wizard of Awareness. Some sound advice. Did not want to take advice from an elder. Somebody who had already been there and done that. Give me an energy for the Six of Pentacles. Someone felt like they knew it all. Why is the Six of Pentacles here for the Divine Feminine? What's the energy? I'm hearing blotted out. So for some of you, this person just chose not to even consider you. It's like out of sight, out of mind. Somebody already had their mind made up. Again, this is somebody who just didn't listen, didn't desire to hear Anyone else's take on the situation? Any advice? Give me the energy for the Six of Pentacles. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? The Magician. This was just lust that led this person 
the this masculine or feminine energy, or well, this could be you, divine feminine, was driven by lust, lustful connections. That's what this person chose to invest in. Heavy Gemini energy. Then we have Virgo as well. Tell me more about the devil. The star, yes, lust-based connection, attraction, what looks good, what's pleasing to the eyes. Aquarius energy on a star, tell me more. I'm hearing, do anything for clout. Give me an energy for the devil, page of cups. This is somebody who was like emotionally immature as well. Give me another energy for the Page of Cups. Like who eyes were just big. Um, I'm getting like bright eyed. Again, it was all about attraction. What looked good. It's like that's what this person went towards. Tell me more about the Page of Cups. Why is the Page of Cups here for the Divine Feminine? What's the message? The two of Pentacles. Yeah, this person juggled you. For some of you, this is somebody that was dealing like with some very immature energies as well. People who really um didn't care a lot about this person. It was primarily like um just a friendship, friends with benefits. For some of you, this person juggled you with a friend. I feel like this person just wanted to keep it platonic. Because he or she was caught up in lust. Was just catering more to their shadow. Tell me more about the Page of Cups. Why is the Page of Cups here? What's the energy? The fool, yep. Somebody took like a major gamble here, major risk. Somebody's also um, emotionally immature with this page here. Somebody wasn't ready for what you had to offer. Or Divine Feminine, you weren't ready for what this person had to offer. Heavy Aquarius energy. Tell me more about the Magician. Why is the Magician here? Four of Cups. Again, this person didn't want to hear what anybody had to say. This person felt like um, whoever was giving this advice was just trying to control them. Tell me more about the Magician. Why is the Magician here? For the Divine Feminine, what's the energy? The Three of Wands. I feel like you turned your back and you moved on. But see, here's the thing. For some of you, that's what this person didn't want. Somebody didn't want you to fully move on from them. Somebody also has an issue with control. They still wanted you there waiting on the sidelines while they, you know, enjoyed themselves, had fun, dealt with whoever they pleased. And it's like, when I'm ready for you, or when I feel I'm ready for you, then I will come back for you. For some of you, that was the case. Somebody wanted you to wait on them. Give me an energy for the Four of Cups. Why is the Four of Cups here for the Divine Feminine? What's the energy? Yeah, somebody just didn't want the cup. They still wanted to have fun. And it's definitely something about how this person views you as well, or viewed you. Eight of Wands. Yep, somebody didn't want to hear what this Wizard of Awareness had to say. This Hermit Energy, this Wise One. I'm hearing Counselor. Like, this is somebody who has a lot of wisdom. Somebody didn't want to listen to it. For some of you, it was multiple people trying to tell this person. For others of you, it was just one person. But it was on different occasions where this masculine or feminine energy tried to get their point across. But again... Somebody just didn't want to hear it. Somebody just thought they knew it all. Give me an energy for the Three of Wands. Why is the Three of Wands here for the Divine Feminine? What's the energy? Why is the Three of Wands here for the Divine Feminine? What's the message spirit? 
The Knight of Swords in reverse. Yeah. Um, it just slowed this person down. The choice they made. For some of you, be mindful because this person could be trying to come back, but it's just going to end up slowing you down. I also feel like um, I'm hearing get to you. I feel like this person may try to reach out to you or may have reached out to you, but the communication never got to you. I'm just getting for some of you, you're long gone. You may have moved, relocated. Give me an energy for Wizard of Awareness. Why is Wizard of Awareness here for the Divine Feminine? What's the energy? Why is Wizard of Awareness here for the Divine Feminine? The Three of Pentacles, yeah. Somebody was getting a lot of guidance, especially spiritual guidance. And for some of you, I feel like now this person is starting to see it. As he or she reflect. That they were being guided in the right direction the entire time. Oh, wow. Three of Pentacles and the number three. Yes, it's like this person had third party interference, but it was like spiritual help. Whether, you know, it was God sending someone in the physical or whether, you know, it was just a lot of divine guidance. This person had the help, like, this person was being led and still refused, still did not take heed, still did not surrender. Give me an energy for ghost lands in the reverse. Why is ghost lands in the reverse here for the divine feminine? What's the energy? Why is ghost lands in the reverse here for the divine feminine? What's the energy? Two of swords. Somebody don't know how they're going to get out of a situation. Like I said, knight of swords in reverse. Something has been halted. Somebody's life is stalled. And they're trying to get out of whatever circumstances they're in, but they don't know how. Because they forsook divine intervention. They weren't supposed to be in this situation to begin with. I'm hearing mess, so something could be very messy. Somebody could also be going through a messy divorce. Give me a final message for the entire reading spirit. For the Divine Feminine, what's the energy? Give me a final message for the entire reading for the Divine Feminine. What's the energy spirit? The Queen of Cups. I feel like you showed this person nothing but compassion. For some of you, oh wow. Eight of Swords in the reverse. You were the divine guidance. You were the divine intervention. You were sent in to help this person, to help this person heal. I'm hearing love this person back to health. Very motherly, very generous, very kind. You were the divine intervention. And somebody walked away from you. And that's why they feel stuck. And they're trying to figure out how they're going to get out. Eight of Swords in Reverse, you were sent to help this person become unstuck, to see things from a different perspective, a higher perspective when it comes to his or her life. So Divine Feminine, this is your reading. Definitely take what resonates. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.